Hey everyone, Pastor Tommy McMurtry from Liberty Baptist here. Just wanted to make this video. I want to say a few words about the situation with Pastor Grayson Fritz at the All Scripture Baptist Church in Knoxville, Tennessee. Now, I uh, first got started getting to know Pastor Fritz uh, less than two years ago. Um, he was there were there was a real tough situation in his church. He called me up. That was the first time I talked to him, and from the first time I talked to him. I was just very impressed at just the, the character of the man, the humility of him. And I've been able to get to know him over the last couple of years and just have really grown to appreciate him as a person, as a pastor. I, I enjoy his preaching and um, just I'm very thankful to consider him a friend of mine. But I just want to say, after watching the news reports, after reading a lot of the news reports about Pastor Fritz, I just want to say that I respect him even more now, not just because of what he preached. I already knew what he believed when it came to sodomites and things like that. I am amazed at this man's testimony. Okay. Now, while, you know, I'd seen a lot from YouTube and just a little bit of personal interaction, I think I don't, I was only ever even around him in person at the marching design conference. And then right after that, I went to his church and spent the day there. And then other than that, it was just a few times on the phone. So I wouldn't have considered myself someone as a really good authority on the man himself because I hadn't been around him in person that much. But people who I would consider good authority would be, um, you know, his co-workers. It would, I, I think a good authority be his record as a police officer. And one common theme that I seem to see uh, from the news reports I'm hearing is that while people have a huge problem with what he personally believed, it appears that it was not reflected in his job at all. It appears that he did exactly what law enforcement officers are supposed to do. They enforce the law. Police officers are not supposed to just take the law into their own hands and just do whatever they want. They're not just supposed to do what they think is right. Just like judges are not to judge or make their decisions based on just what they think. They're supposed to make judgments based on what the law is. That is what people in law enforcement are supposed to do. And according to everything that I have heard on the news reports, what they have said about his record, that is exactly what this man has done. That shows a great deal of character. And I always appreciate a police officer that knows how to have some self-control. When I was younger, I used to watch cops and I would love it whenever these people would be drunk and belligerent and just being a jerk to the cops. And they just stand there just all stoic, self-control, wouldn't let anything get to them. They take the insults and, you know, they, I mean, and some cops are amazing at this. I mean, they know how to just put up with some serious junk, but then you've got other ones that they have no self-control they lose it. And then they often get out of line. Uh, you have the police brutality situations, the shootings and things like that. And here you have a man, Detective Grayson Fritz, who has been in law enforcement. I, I don't remember how many years, but I think it was the early 2000s. So for over a decade, this man has been in this field and has like nothing negative on his record, yet he held these very controversial beliefs. And he never let that pour over into his job. What does that say about the man? That says that this is a man of great self-control, a man of integrity, and just a, a decent human being. And man, we need more people like that in law enforcement. And listen, I kind of understand why the police over there in Knoxville are scared. The news media is bullying the cops today like never before. Law enforcement officers are scared to death in many cases to do their job for fear that there might be some kind of media backlash. And it's pretty sad to see the way these guys just bend over and just take junk from the news media. They are scared to death of the news media. And all this is right now, it's just a witch hunt. It's just them trying to get Pastor Fritz uh, found guilty in the court of public opinion. But folks, his record speaks for itself. This is a man of integrity who did his job. I saw in one of the reports, he gave an illustration because they asked if this, you know, his beliefs affected his jobs. And he said, no, he said 
in that that if he worked at Burger King, his job is to make burgers. It wouldn't it wouldn't matter if someone from the LGBT community came in. He would serve them just like he was supposed to. He would do his job and his record proves that he's telling the truth right there. And you know what? I don't really care what the opinion is of a police officer that I interact with. I don't really care about what the opinion is or the beliefs of a judge that I ever have to stand before. You know what I want? I want someone who follows the law. I want people who enforce the law as it is written, not people who take the law into their own hands. And in Pastor Fritz's message, if you listen to the whole thing, he's saying, hey, this is what I believe. This is what the Bible says, but it is not our job to take the law into our own hands. And this is a man who has practiced that, a man who for years has had a job where he carries a gun and a badge, who has great potential to abuse his power based on his beliefs, but he never did. He has a wonderful record. And you know what? If anything, even if you are disgusted by Pastor Fritz's personal beliefs, you should be impressed at a man who is able to put those things aside and to do his job like he was supposed to do. Even if you are disgusted at what he thinks in his head and what he preaches from his pulpit, you should commend the man for doing his job just like he was supposed to do. And you ought to wish and you ought to be asking that there be more men like him in law enforcement. If you were honest and if you weren't a hypocrite, you would want more men like Grayson Fritz in law enforcement. And so I just wanted to say this to just put this out there for him because a lot of people aren't saying this in the news media because they're just scared of the backlash by all the special interest groups that are out there that would run them through the ringer. But folks, the reports are clear. His record's clear. His actions have proven it. This is a man of integrity, of self-control. And all that I've seen from these reports, everything I've heard from people that have been interviewed that knew him, is he's, these people are basically just proving this man fulfills the qualifications of a bishop. This is a man who has a good report of them. They're without. And if the only thing they have against Pastor Fritz is that he just happens to believe the Bible, then to me, that is a wonderful testimony. Thank God for men like Pastor Grace and Fritz. And even if you hate the Bible and you hate what he preached from the Bible, you should be thankful that there are men like him in law enforcement who do not take the law into their own hands, who enforce the law, who do their jobs like they're supposed to do. And you know what? I'd like to hear some people who hate what he preached. Uh, I like to see if any of them can be honest enough to say, you know what? I hate what he preaches, but you know what? I'm impressed that he did his job the way he did. Let's see if you can be honest on this. Or do you just have blind hatred to those whose religious beliefs you can't stand? And I think I'd like to see one person be honest and do that. I'd like to see some of his coworkers come out and do that. Say, hey, this is a man who I worked with for years. And you know what? I never even would have known that he felt that way because he was too busy doing his job like he was supposed to do. So anyway, I think there's enough said on that. Thank God for Pastor Fritz. Be praying for him. And you know what? Let's see some honesty from the news media. Let's see some honesty from his coworkers. And let's see some honesty even from the opposition, because this is a crystal clear case of a man who has controversial religious beliefs, but did his job the way he was supposed to do. So God bless Pastor Grayson Fritz and the All Scripture Baptist Church. Thank you.